Now this video is for you if you are over 50, you are in the middle of the menopause or post-menopause, you potentially could be suffering slash struggling with low level menopausal symptoms and they could be vast but they could be a bit dripping tap you're sort of dealing with them they're there but they're just chipping away maybe at your self-confidence or you could be experiencing huge life-changing menopausal symptoms or both and the one that we're going to address today is weight gain and weight gain in your 50s and beyond and how you can start this process of losing weight in your 50s and beyond. You may have tried everything. You may have feel that you're eating all the right things. Maybe you're exercising, maybe you're not exercising, but nothing seems to be working. And every day you feel yourself starting over and over. Today it's gonna be the day, the day. You may have even looked at some of the weight loss medications that are available now around on the internet and around the UK. But I'm going to give you a tip today and we'll discuss it. And of course, if you've got any any questions about it, just pop it in the comments below. But this is a tip that you don't, in fact, I don't think I've seen any videos on this subject. And this is really important for you wherever you are on the journey and how to get started, because that can be the hardest thing. There can be some mindset shifts that we need to address first. And if you look at your weight loss and your health and your well-being as a long-term play, if you are 50 or thereabouts, let's say that we are halfway through our life and we want another healthy 50 years or more, we're just halfway in. So this is the long play. This is not a one-week fix, a two-week fix, a any fix. This is embarking on a lifelong journey of health and longevity and feeling good and being energized and managing your weight in a healthy way. So the first thing that I would like to address is if you and I sit down together and I am your one-to-one coach, we would sit down and we would have a discussion over where exactly you are health-wise. So I would look at your stress levels. Are you stressed? Are you experiencing high levels of stress? Are you experiencing low levels of stress? Do you feel stressed on a daily basis? Do you feel stressed when you wake up? Oh, Do you feel that you've got a lot of cortisol in the system, which is the stress hormone? I would want to know about your sleep. Are you sleeping? Good, bad? Are you waking up in the middle of the night? Are you struggling to get to sleep? I'd want to know all about that. I'd want to know about how move, how much movement and activity that you're doing through the day. And we would add that all up and look at it. Are you doing anything? Are you, would you class yourself as sedentary potentially? Or are you active and are you moving? And then the one thing that we used to do when I first started offering personal training over 30 odd years ago, way before tech and digital, way, way before, I would sit down with a client face to face and we would discuss where they were nutritionally. And that's what I want you to do today. So we can't just, well, I wouldn't just put you on a diet or a nutrition program. I'd need to look at exactly where you are and we would have, we'd have a chat. And you would tell me, but I'd also like to see some data. And this is really useful, especially if you are feeling that you're trying everything day after day, you try another approach. Maybe you've done intermittent fasting. Maybe you've done full fasting. Maybe you've just cut out food groups, all these radical things. And every day you try a different thing. Maybe you've done Slimming World, Weight Watchers. Maybe you've been to boot camps, all of the different methods that there are. Maybe you've tried lots of different ones and every day you might try something new. This is the first step. And so many people do not discuss this. We need to know exactly where you are. Now, back in the old days, I would sit down with you and give you a food diary to fill in and you would write absolutely everything down. Now, you might want to do that. You might actually appreciate writing everything down in a journal. Get a big journal that's got blank pages and just down, download your brain, everything that you eat, everything that you drink. And you've got to be completely honest with yourself. There's no good cherry picking what you've eaten so it looks good. You've got to be brutally honest with yourself. What are you eating on a daily basis over a week? 
Now, if you don't want to write it all down, you can use an app. So you can use MyFitnessPal or you can use NutriCheck. Now, these work brilliantly well, but they only work well as long as you input everything. So be brutally honest. Everything that you eat, everything that goes into your mouth, pop it into the app. And then look at that. How many calories are you actually consuming over the course of a day, over the course of a week? There's no judgment. There's no good food and bad food. It's all food. And we just want to see on a typical week, are you eating in a calorie surplus or are you eating in a calorie deficit? And then you and I would sit down together and we would work on that and we'd look at how we would start to make a plan and adjustments. I would want to be seeing if you are an emotional eater. Are you a nighttime nibbler? Are you, uh, uh, do you just don't plan maybe? You're not planning your food correctly. Maybe you don't sit down and give yourself enough time to eat. You're always eating on the go. And we would identify any habits that you have got and we would start to address those first of all. Rather than just going, okay, here's the diet plan. Here's what you should be eating. Here's the meal plan and just go. We need to see where you're at and then we make incremental changes. Now, this is really useful for you because you can see you might be eating all the healthy food, but you may be eating way too much of it. You may be way off in a calorie surplus, which is why you'll be gaining weight. Now, as a menopausal or a postmenopausal woman, there are other factors at play here. We've got gut health. We've got um, the microbiome may be compromised. We may have some adrenal dysfunction, potentially. The hormone levels are constantly fluctuating. Which, so that will affect your cravings and your sleep and energy. That's important. You might not be adequately hydrated. Are you drinking enough? You might be surviving on a lot of coffee. So again, this is adding to cortisol. So there's lots of other factors to take into consideration. But first things first is let's see where you're at. Now you can do this on your own. You can get those apps or you can write everything down and then you can do the calculation and have a look exactly where you are. So follow my YouTube channel. I'll be posting regular videos around often uncommon tips and tricks around losing weight in your 50s and beyond that you just don't see on the internet. And let's start with the basics. Let's see exactly where you are. Now, you'll also see on my channel lots of other videos that I've made around menopausal weight gain and weight loss and being fit and active. And I'm live most days here on YouTube. So do come along and say hello. And let me know in the comments if this is something that you could do over a week. And also let me know if you do do it. Um, and what the results are. I would love to hear from you. So make sure you pop a comment in. And of course, share this video with any other women that you think may be helpful. And I want to share more of my expertise. I've been in the fitness industry. I've been a woman's health coach for over 38 years. And I really want to help you with the best information and a common sense approach to how you can live your best life.